What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we're going to be talking about all the crazy stuff that's going on here in Fortnite in the next coming weeks. We have Tilted Tower being hit by a meteor, okay? We have, uh, you know, all sorts of evidence pointing to this happening on the 18th, and, uh, you know, it's almost a confirmation of sorts. So, yeah. And then we have the vending machines okay like that's even crazier dude think about that the vending machines where you can trade in some of your materials and get some loot that's pretty amazing if you ask me so i don't know uh how you guys feel about that but we literally have so much going on right now in fortnite uh you know and no I want to say, like, almost no game except maybe League of Legends has really kept up this kind of uh, just adding content to the game at a steady pace in terms of, like, just constantly adding. And, you know, leave it in the comments below if you know of games that have been really, like, you know, just pushing content out for uh, the community. And, uh, you know, let's we can have a conversation about that in the next video or something. Who knows? But the way I, that I see it is, like... Um, with all these changes and all these additions, it's really just a lot of cool, unique stuff being added. It's really not anything um, overbearing. Like, people are going to say that the guided missile is insane, but it, it, it's not. It's it's really kind of weak in actuality. It's pretty easy to deal with. Um, you just shoot it, and uh, the rocket blows up pretty easily, you know. So, I mean, it can be funny, you know, but I'd say the regular rocket launcher is still way better. Um, the sniper shootout game mode is kind of sucks. Like that just needs to never come back ever. Like <laughs> that just sucks. It's not fun at, at all. So that like the twenty v twenty and the fifty v fifty, that is awesome. Like that's like you know some stuff that should maybe be you know kept in the game. Maybe ten v ten, I guess. Maybe like a mega squad or something. You know what I mean? Instead of like these giant giant squads, just give us like say like eight man squads or ten man something like that. Something un unique. But, uh, yeah, like, there's just so much going on when it comes to, like, just regular general game updates. And then there's, like, the skins, which, you know, the Easter stuff for skins is uh, whatever. You know what I mean? It's it's give or take here what you feel about that. So, um, yeah, like, you know, do you buy the skins if you want. Don't if you don't want to. But the cool thing is, is, like, if you play, like a full season or two even on a free pass you'll have enough v bucks to buy the battle pass so yeah i mean that's a little bit long but we're still technically in early access right like it's not true you know that it, the game's out so okay whatever you know <laughs> like whatever okay what i mean um but still uh, i'm sure there's gonna be more ways to get skins later on at least i hope i would i'm like you know prefer to believe that most game developers aren't going to make it all gated uh towards stuff that you really have to buy that's not you know all that uh conducive to like enjoying like you know a game um and and i will say i will say like flat out guys like uh yeah like wearing a camouflage compared to wearing like a dumpy outfit that anybody can see you in even in this type of game is helpful um, we had the conversation of like, you know, the tree in a, the bu or the bush in a bush, I should say the bush in a bush is actually really concealing, especially if you're not wearing back bling and you have like this outfit on I have on right now, your head kind of blends in and just looks like part of the scenery. You look like the ground, you know, and if you change to no gun and you know, stuff, it's just little things you like to really do matter, like the darker the color you're wearing some people actually play on like dark settings so shadows actually do things but uh yeah you know so this was kind of uh you know me and my buddy is like first couple games here playing dubs and uh we ended up getting a victory um it was pretty clutch <laughs> from my uh point of view here so as you can see my building skills have like thoroughly increased and uh yeah but i was literally just unlocking battle pass stuff like nonstop. <clears throat> um, as fast as I possibly can, basically. Look at this thing like three times. So we, you know, 
yeah, guys, like, I don't know how you feel about the content coming out like this, but I like it a lot. I, I prefer games that are going to have content. And if Tilted Towers actually 100% gets changed, at least, because they could, you know, like, Tilted Towers could be destroyed and then, like, they're just more buildings, like, messed up, but it's the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, it could just be a textural change. But what if they actually change tilted tower so that it is completely destroyed or it's like completely something else that is awesome i think more games need to do that and we need to get more games like doing that instead of just regular typical dlc and you guys know what i'm talking about like map packs and stuff like that like that's your typical dlc how about you deform the world over time like that you could do that in every map in in like you know just regular FPS games and everything else. So, I mean, why not give it a try? <clears throat> you know? It sounds a lot more interesting. And I touched on it in another video, but it gives you that ability to play this map. And while you're playing this map, basically, over the stretch of, say, a year, the map gradually changes. So what was once the best camping spot is no longer the best camping spot. You see what I'm saying? And instead of it just all of a sudden the whole map is different you get a little bit easier of a setting kind of like i don't know i don't know how to state it but it's like it's like basically you learn as the map changes rather than the map just being a new map you know and uh yeah so that's my theory on this but you know what we're gonna drop this here and say thanks for watching don't forget to enter the v buck giveaway that is in the description below if you made it this far to the video and if you're a subscriber already so yeah make sure you click that link down there and uh enjoy the rest of the video yeah.